If you're thinking about writing a book but are worried about wasting your time and money, here are five questions to ask yourself before you start writing. I'm Liz, the writer behind Green Goose Ghostwriting. I help entrepreneurs like you who want to write a book to demonstrate authority in their niche and get more speaking engagements. I write their book in their own voice so they can share their message, inspire others and finally level up their business. Now I am also an entrepreneur myself and a mother to a 14 year old, 14 year old, 14 month old little boy and I'm a normal human being in the 21st century. So between work and family and binge watching episodes of The Crown, I have no spare time whatsoever. My schedule is always full and I'm guessing you can relate. Often it's packed with fun stuff, so I just got back from a long visit back to see my family in the UK, which is why I've been quiet here on the blog lately. But this means that when I think of a new project that I want to pursue, just like you do, I have to really consider if it's going to be worth the time investment. If you're thinking about writing a book, you likely already know that it is going to be a big time investment. You'll spend a lot of time writing every word, or if you enlist the skills of a ghostwriter like me, you'll spend some money on that. So these five questions are going to help you decide if that book idea is worth the investment and it will prevent you from wasting time if you do decide to write that book. So here we go, question number one, am I really interested in the subject? Books are big projects, you're going to invest a lot into this, so are you interested in it enough to sustain you through the process of writing and marketing it? Question two, are other people interested in it? If you're writing for yourself, that's totally okay. Nobody has to care about that stuff. But if you want your book to level up your business, you need to consider if there's an audience for it, just like you do for the rest of your business. Question three, this kind of relates, how will the book fit into my bigger business strategy? Books generally don't tend to make a lot of money in sales alone but they are worth it when they're part of the bigger business strategy and feed customers into your other services. So smart entrepreneurs consider that. Question four, do I want to pursue a traditional publisher or self-publish? We ask this question before we start writing because the processes are different. With traditional publishers, they want to see a book proposal, not the book itself. So if you're writing for them, you start writing a proposal, not the book. But if you're going to self-publish, you start actually writing the thing itself. Question five, do I want to do it alone? When we think about writing, we tend to think of someone sitting on their own, hacking away at the computer. And if you do want to work alone, then that's great. That process might work for you. But if you don't, you need to know that there are other options. And we're going to talk about those in an upcoming video. We'll also talk about the other questions in more details because I know that some of these questions might trigger even more questions. So we're going to go into detail on all five of these questions in the coming weeks. In the meantime, while you are considering those questions, you can also improve your own writing. So enter your email address in the space below this video and I will send you 15 writing tips from today's top entrepreneurs, folks like Marie Forleo and Neil Patel and Jeff Goins and all kinds of cool people. And I will see you next time.